When you're running a foundation, there are different ways to do that, and I've seen them all. Some people are at arm's length, some people are hilltop generals, and then there's a rare, rare individual like Catherine who's down with us shoulder to shoulder. When my husband and I got married, we had created a foundation, but we had not determined the purpose yet. Five years after we were married, he was diagnosed with advanced brain cancer, also called glioblastoma, and they basically said there was nothing they could do to help save his life. I was shocked. It came real clear when he was diagnosed that we wanted to fund brain cancer research. What Catherine really did was upend the system and say, I'm just not okay with people dying. There's been one drug for brain cancer in 30 years, which is totally unacceptable. Her focus then and today is singularly on glioblastoma. That is clearly her arch nemesis. It's one of the most aggressive cancers there is. And when the average survival is 18 months, we don't have unlimited time to find a cure. And in 2018, we created the Ivy Brain Tumor Center. We have to stop thinking about this from a sterile laboratory scientific perspective. What we need to do is think about it from the patient perspective. We chose Dr. Nader Sinai's project for our worldwide search because he developed a new process of phase zero clinical trials that created the Ivy Brain Tumor Center. If there's a promising drug, we're gonna test it in patients very quickly. You know if a therapy is working in seven to 10 days. We not only know the drug works, but we know in whom it works. And if it's not, well then we pivot on a scale of time that means something to them. To date, we've invested $130 million into brain cancer research over 16 years. With the Ivy Brain Tumor Center, we are in our fourth year and we've completed 14 clinical trials. We call this an incurable disease, but there's always exceptions and I'm here to make everybody that exception. The data from these clinical trials is what is gonna move us closer towards a cure, and that translates to real hope for the patient.